Now, Chicago artist Damon Lamar Reed is keeping the missing in the forefront one brush stroke at a time, and that's why we've named him our Revolutionary of the Week. It was something that I knew that I had to do. That's when I came up with doing these portraits because sometimes we may, you know, see an image, you know, hey, a woman is missing, or, you know, you see like an amber alert and you kind of just, you know, breeze past it. Artist Damon Lamar Reed uses beauty to call attention to a tragic epidemic that too often goes unseen. Something that would draw people in, then, you know, they would take a look at that and then want to, you know, look further like, okay, well, that's a beautiful portrait, you know, tell me more about that or let me find out more. It's a project that's personal for the Chicago native, inspired by his family's experience and loss. My aunt Valerie and my cousins Shanti and Weiwei, who were, they were murdered back in 1982. And the, the, you know, the killer was never found, never prosecuted. And I went on Google, I was, you know, looking up information about that. And then I saw how many uh, black women were missing. I mean, honestly, I had never even really, really had a, a deep thought about, you know, women going missing, you know? So it just kind of gave me a whole new, you know, perspective, you know, really about safety. You know, I myself, I have two daughters. You know, I was talking to my wife about, you know, starting a new series of paintings. And, you know, I thought that would be something great to do just to help spread awareness and, you know, help get this out. In the U.S., tens of thousands of black women and girls go missing each year, but their cases rarely make national headlines. Lamar's work focuses on women of color from the Chicago area. Many have been missing for decades. Painting uh, missing women, I guess you could say it can get sad, you know, it can get, you know, deep. Um, I'm more looking for an optimistic approach on it, approach on it. An approach that led him to launch the Still Searching Project, an initiative to create murals and public artworks to keep the memories of the missing alive. I didn't want to name it Still Missing. You know, I wanted to name it a, a proactive word and an and a optimistic word. You know, something about taking action. I began to do murals, like I said, with a, with a mission and a purpose um, to actually speak for the people. That's what I believe a lot of the Chicago mural movement is about. It's the same with the, the Still Searching Project. I wanna be a voice for the voiceless.